time for Cooking with Ariana. Today she will be making hot sauce and guacamole. Here's your host, Ariana Riley. Hi, and welcome to the show. Today I'm going to show you how to make hot sauce and guacamole. These are two of my favorite recipes, and today I'm going to show you how easy they are to make, and I'm even going to share you, I'm, I'm even going to share some of my secret ingredients. So I want to get started with the hot sauce. Um, first, you're going to need um, a small onion, then you're going to need um, a can of whole peel tomatoes, um, jalapenos, I like to use the canned jalapenos, and garlic, and cilantro, and then um, my special ingredient is, uh, my secret ingredient is cumin seed. I like it because it has a lot of flavor. So um, first, I'm going to add the onion. All you need is probably a quarter of the onion. So. Once you get it, you put it in, and I like to put it in first because that way the, um, the blender has, um, the first thing that goes in is the onions, and it'll mix it all really well, and it'll, you'll get a lot of flavor with it. So I'm going to add a little bit more, and then again, with the tomato, I like to use the canned tomato because um, it just takes less time. You don't have to boil or um, peel the tomato. It's already um, done for you. And you just go ahead and you pour the whole um, can of tomatoes, like so. Um, and then you go ahead and do the jalapenos. I like to use the pickled jalapenos because it has a lot more flavor and you get to decide of how much um, spice you want in it. I like to do about two to three um, spoonfuls um, of the jalapenos, just depending on how hot you want it really. And then if you decide that after you're done it's not so spicy, don't worry. You can just get some to the side and then um, dice them and add them to the end. And then also you, um, you can use some of, the, some of the juice to go into it. And then um, you want to get some of the uh, minced garlic. It gives it a lot of flavor. And let's see, I'm just going to go ahead and use the same spoon, and it's about a um, tablespoon of garlic. I know it sounds a lot, but um, it'll add a lot of flavor to it. And after you're done with that, you're going to go um, with the cumin seed. I use um, ground cumin just because um, it's really, really strong and you don't want to overpower the flavor. So all you're going to do is just um, a dash of it. So not too much. Again, this is a secret ingredient, so I don't want you all to think, it's awesome I'm going to pour the whole thing because then it's not going to taste um, really good. It's going to be overpowering and you're not going to have the same, the same taste or flavor that you want because you want to be able to taste everything. So that should be enough. Um, once you have all of that in, you'll want to leave it in and let's see. So I've added the onion, the canned tomato, and then um, the jalapenos. And then now um, I'm doing the, the cilantro. And on this, you just want to grab just, the, um, just a handful of it, like so. And I've already washed my cilantro. And just a tip, um, I know that if I buy it, the next day it'll be um, all sad and brown. So how I've kept it alive is just adding water to it and leaving it, leaving it in the fridge like that. And it leaves it, um, it, leaves it looking good for about two weeks. So I'm going to add a little bit more. like that and then this will actually um, be good enough for about 10 people um, depending on how hungry they are of course but um, like I said um, around 10 people um, you'll be able to feed and then once you have this I'm going to go ahead and blend this together like that and make sure I have it together um, and then I'm going to go ahead and blend it, but before we're going to go to a commercial, and then when I come back, I'm going to show you um, what, it, what I have as a result. Hey, do you need some help? Yes, thank you. The door clicker always helps me whenever I have my hands full, and then I can even lock my door for my car. works every time. 
Hi, and welcome back. Before the commercial, um, I showed you how to make salt, um, hot sauce. And what I did, I just uh, put it in the blender and I did it for six seconds. Um, I want the hot sauce to be kind of chunky, so what I did, I put it on there for three seconds, then pause, and then do the remaining three seconds of it. And then this is what you will get right here. Um, so now I want to um, add just salt and pepper, of course, to your taste. And this will um, give it a lot more flavor. And then you just want to mix that. And then I'm going to go ahead and put it to the side, and then we can um, continue with the um, guacamole. Okay, I'm going to move it. And um, the ingredients that you'll need is um, avocado, onion, and jalapeno, garlic, and cilantro. Now the hardest part about um, doing the guacamole is picking out the um, avocado. And it's right here. Um, I got a tip once that um, how you pick an avocado is just um, you want it to be soft but not too soft. So if you feel the back of your hand and um, you'll see how it's a little bit soft so just make sure that's how the um, avocado is. And um, it can be tricky on how you, um, you cut it. But I do this and the seed um, can be tricky. Um, this is how actually it should um, look like, a perfect avocado. I like to pick these from the uh, Mexican store Monterey. Um, they have these for a dollar and they're really big. So what you do is you kind of just hit the, um, the seed and you twist it and usually they're pretty easy to come out after that. So once that's um, there, what you do is just scoop it out and I'm going to use the same spoon. Um, you scoop them out just like that and it should be pretty easy um, to scoop out. So there's the second one. And the avocado is already pretty big that you would probably only need about just one or two avocados um, for this. This is a small dip because I've already made that um, big bowl of, um, of hot sauce. So um, I'm just cutting it up. I don't want to overdo it because I don't want it to be gooey. I want it to look fresh and chunky. So I'm going to leave it like that and then I'm going to tell you about the other ingredients that um, we are going to need. And it's going to be, I have them right here, it's going to be the um, tomato, onion, and jalapeno. A lot of people like to use um, lime to give it um, more flavor, but I don't like to use lime. So what I did is um, took that ingredient out and decided to go with jalapenos. That gives it a little tang and spice as well. So um, I'm going to go ahead and, and add the um, tomato to it. And the onion. and the jalapeno. And this, of course, you don't have to add it. If you like lime, go ahead and add it. I just um, decide not to add it because I, I like the flavor of the jalapeno better. And then I also like to just put um, um, some of the juice in there. It adds, um, of course, that tangy flavor that the lime brings it because of the vinegar and then the spice um, that that jalapeno has. And then um, I've the diff as, as you notice, you use the same ingredients that you did with the hot sauce, um, but now you pretty much just dice them all up. And then I went ahead and just grabbed some of the cilantro and then I'm just going to add it on here. And then just like that. And again, cilantro has a lot of flavor, so if you do it, you can um, feel, you'll taste like the overpowering. So just add just a little, just to kind of uh, make it look pretty. And as you can see, since I didn't stir it, you still have the chunkiness uh of it and it doesn't look gooey or old. And also a trick, if you want to make this before um, people come in, you can just leave um, the seed of the avocado in it and that will help it keep um, from turning brown. Um, but of course, since um, after I'm done doing it, everyone's going to eat it up. So um, I'm just going to leave it like that. And then um, the last step is to add salt and the pepper. And of course, if you missed anything, you can just go to the website, www.cookingwithariana.com. And I hope you enjoyed this. And remember, just keep cooking.